jailbreaking to heal. Something I've been thinking a lot about. Jailbreaking. Why? I don't know. It comes up in movies a lot. I've done a post on this, but it's just built even more. When you watch what these human beings accomplish in real life and even in movies, what they will do to plan out, think about, feel about, execute to the most, the finest detail. All players involved have a purpose. They're so deliberate in everything they do. They're so creative in everything they do. They're so patient in everything they do. They're so uh, inclusive around one fucking thing. And that's breaking out of jail. And they will. And they're out. Whether they stay out or not, that's not. But you look at what the human does. Now, these aren't the smartest humans. These aren't the most educated humans. These aren't the ones that got degrees. These aren't the ones that had driven parents and were doing 10,000 reps of whatever, 100 hours, or they just had something they wanted more than breath, more than life, more than food, more than anything in the world, and they would get it. And so it's not dark. I'm looking at it as a, as a positive, and did we do this at one point in our lives when we weren't necessarily incarcerated? <laughs> Yeah, we did it as children. We did it as babies. You tried to swaddle our fucking asses to calm us down and we broke out an arm. Or you tried to put us in a crib and we would like do all these things to get out. Or a sibling would help out or we'd have a team. We would contrive, we would stack things. We would do all this stuff, put us in a, in a kitchen and we would plan how to break out and we would risk everything to get out, to jailbreak. And so I was thinking, I'm like, that is healing. When you want to heal, it has to be your only fucking goal is to heal. That's it. And then along those lines is living and shaping and everybody that comes into play is either on board or not. Everything you think about, everything you do, everything you see, everything you click, everything you choose, everything you turn, everything you plan out, everything you set an appointment for is a part of this single focus to heal. And if it's not there, you don't have time for it. It has to be that important. And the results will speak for themselves. And then I started to think, I'm like, my God, medicine in all its forms is literally like convincing somebody that they're breaking out of jail or they've broken out by putting up these nice pictures in their cell or painting the walls a mural to trick that it's sunny or it's uh, open air or that there's a their favorite car or a mountain that they want to hike or um you know they they convince them and like they're still in a cell that's all forms of medicine i thought about that i'm like my god but they've convinced you you've you've broken out of jail or you are looking for somebody to break you out of jail you're sitting inside this confined cell that's locked up and you've been in there you know why you're in there and you're like somebody break me out somebody break me out break me out now i deserve to be out because i'm human or i deserve to be out because i'm 50 or i deserve because i'm this that and the other you're gonna have to break yourself out and it's gonna have to take the level of seriousness that would be set in a jailbreak situation somebody breaking out of jail where every single one of your moves everything you think about everything you create and deliberate and your intention is behind is to get that done that's how serious it has to be and your body will just be like boom i'll give you everything i'll give you everything you've ever wanted that's why i needed you to understand and feel this and breaking out of jail is all of a sudden you know it's, it is imprisoning because we're imprisoned by our stories we're imprisoned by all forms of medicine we're imprisoned by all the messages on social media we're imprisoned by you know uh, 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 treatments and therapies and and that is literally it we, we bark about this freedom and health and healing freedom and all this other stuff but then we choose all these other things that are straight up imprisoning mentally imprisoning uh thoughtfully and then imprisoning physically as well um so you're gonna have to get as serious as you would if you were to jailbreak and again the capacity of the human being to be able to plan a jailbreak and get out if it's more if it's important enough to them they'll do it and that's the thing is it is it worth what is your life worth i said that in that video what are you willing to do what are you willing to look at because it has to be jailbreak level of seriousness <laughs> and i don't think that takes a negative connotation per se but it is a human being that accomplishes this feat it's phenomenal 
when you see and hear what they go through and what they do. And then you hear somebody who's healed and what they've done in their life to be creative and intentional and what they cut out, what they added, what they polished, what they uh, were honest about. And then the lengths that they went and the risks that they took and the cost that it was and the results, healing to a level greater than the symptoms. Done. You're always healing, but healing to a level greater, you're no longer in prison, feeling imprisoned by your body because that's what it can feel like. Your body's not imprisoning you. It just knows if you go out, if it allows you to go out, you're not going to last two seconds. And it likes you staying here. That's the perpetuated human species. So i um, been thinking a lot about jailbreak lately. <laughs> this post brought to you by Long Snapper IPA. Boom. <laughs>